this episode might be a little bit late. So I came back here to get a black mask. And the looks of it shot in the dark. It was starting to do it, right? Don't know why, but Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I saw someone walk here to this area, but then I stopped, okay? I didn't do anything more than that. That's it. <laughs> I can't lie to you guys. I I can't. But it's still blind. And it's gonna continue to be. I just I just wanted to know where to go right away. So that you're not stuck in a video of me just wandering around aimlessly. Because that wouldn't be very fun. I mean, I guess it would be kind of funny, but... You know... Let's go! <sighs> so I received a bit... Ugh. I just, um... Was trying to get up to where I am right now. In the Game Boy Advance version of Final Fantasy 2. I'm getting there. I uh, just, I just saved Finn. <sighs> but let's move on forward in this. It might be good. Okay. Anything this way? Screw that. <sighs> I just ran into cockatrices. <laughs> and yeah, some way I may be actually supposed to be cuckoo-trices or cockatrices or something like that. Well, I'm calling them cockatrices because they're cocks. They completely stoned me. <gasps> oh. Okay. Is this good for you? Oh yes. He says the black mage. Why not? This music in the advanced version is really nice. Nice addition. Please be please don't be an empty room. Oh one thing I will say about empty rooms that I definitely figured out is um the GBA version is... Eh. I went into one, I saw some boxes. So I was like, hey, I'm gonna see if there's any of these boxes, because you know. <laughs> there's an encounter on every single tile. Is that common? Is that something that happens in the NES version too? If you go into those nothing rooms, you don't get the heck out of there fast. <laughs> it's every single tile and encounter. Oh boy. If so, oh my goodness. Also, in the GPA version, Furion. <laughs> His MP is a lot higher. Yeah, I, I gave him healing stuff too. I guess I guess I should have done that here too, but you know, the GBA version says to be a master five. Ferion? Why is Ferion down there? Um, okay. Yeah, and, um, Guy, he used his fist in that version. Uh, should probably get the mouse out of the way. I doubt you guys can look at that. Alright. Um... Hi. Chance. Ch 
Good for what? Uh. Remove him? No. get rid of it, did it? Okay, it didn't. Were we supposed to do that? Hmm. I really hope we were. Because if not, oh. I'm trying to be careful with our MP, and also need her to get out of here. Here? No! <sighs> this is awful. I just, again, lost all of that commentary. And plus, I also lost game audio. I know I could have edited it and probably put in music and etc. But my actual recording software is being a butt. So, I'm using my editing software to record narration. But, I can't put music with it too. So welcome back! Ay ay ay. Ha! <laughs> Cockatrices. Ay ay. I abridged some of this and cut out a bit because I. It was a 40 minute part. 40 minutes. I know, I could. I know, it's like, why don't you just go back and redo the dungeon all over? I don't know. I I would rather not. But if that's really what you want, I will upload it like this, this episode. But if you decide that you would rather me go all the way for the cave again, then I'll try. But I guess I can give a review of the dungeon. At least I could do. At least a little bit of time was salvaged, as you heard earlier, so not all of it's gone, thankfully. I don't know, I was talking here or something like that. I, uh, at this point I start cutting out parts of the dungeon. Well, this uh, technology, isn't it great? <laughs> well, I am having a lot of fun with this game so far. And I actually am quite enjoying this. Despite the technical, techno, technological difficulties, <laughs> This has been, has been really fun. And I've liked it a lot. Oh boy, what do I talk about? I don't know, did I talk about that? No, I think I think so. At one point I was talking on, going on about how, um, back when I had, well, one thing that you don't have to worry about me getting too tempted and going further in the Game Boy Advance version that I'm playing. Because the NES version is continuing to be blind, no matter what. And... That's that. I mean, I'll play up to where I am, but you don't have to worry about me 
pulling a chrono trigger. What I mean by that is back in the day when I did Chrono Trigger Blind, I really enjoyed it and I fell in love with Chrono Trigger so much that I actually went out and bought it myself. For a while I kept up with just the LP, but then it just got too darn tempting and I ended up, you know, just playing it, the rest of it, and etc. But you don't have to worry about that with Final Fantasy 2. I don't know why. Just you don't have to worry about it. I mean, I'm enjoying Final Fantasy 2. But I just don't... I, I guess what I'm trying to say is I'm a bit more mature than I was back then. I mean, I still love Chrono Trigger. I still own it. I could probably do a playthrough of it one day. I'm cutting out some of this. I really hope that <laughs> this isn't annoying. Hear me yammer on and on, but it's better than nothing being said. Just silence. So, I have to say I like this game quite a bit so far, actually. It probably would be in my top Final Fantasies. That's all I'm going to say because my full review will be at the end of the game. Which is another thing. I'm thinking of making a review type thing. Where I review various games that I've played before. Or done LPs on. Although games I've played before, I could review it any time. But games like this that are blind would probably wait till the ending. Wait till the fat lady sings. Or basically, I'll go into a full depth review of the game. Every nook and cranny of it. <laughs> but if I reviewed all the Final Fantasies, oh boy. Things will get hairy when we get to a certain Final Fantasy. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say about that. Again, I'm sorry about cutting things out and etc. Uh. <laughs> I, um, I also, I've been recording for a while, and I think I'm also going to do a bit more off-screen, grinding up a bit. I don't know, I just felt it might be necessary. When this episode ends, I'll meet back at Mysidia. Ah, uh, those things, it took me a bit to figure out what their weaknesses were. The little flans, or in this game, jelly, mellows, etc. Hmm. Man, it's hard to come up with what to talk about in the spot. I try to avoid post commentary, but if I have to, I have to. And the thing is, my live commentary is my audio from the commentary and audio from the video and the game are all one thing. So if the mic messes up, all of it messes up. Lovely, huh? But it's alright. Oh, yeah. I hope I didn't just say this. Oh. It's easy when I'm playing the game to come up with commentary on the spot, but when I'm just watching it, oh boy, what should I talk about? Mm, a few more minutes. Oh yeah, the early um, mob rolls, mabrins, blah blah blah. I remember them in later Final Fantasies. They are pains in the butt with their little attack where they inflict multiple statuses. In this game. That seems to not be really the case. So, I suppose we went better luck. We would have been in a later one. Oi. Hmm. Yeah. It's almost look kind of odd in this version. Ay, ay. Even in the editor, 
My mic is screwing up. Uh, by the way, the treasure chests all the way over yonder, the four chests, all ten potions. Yeah, but that's not recorded, so. So three chests, I threw away stuff. And the thing is why I haven't been able to just completely see the problem is I have two mics. One is on the earphone. And the other is attachable to my computer. I don't know which one's messing up. I don't. <laughs> it could be the earphones, but it could be the computer um, attachable one, too. Beats me. <sighs> Honestly, I hope it's the earphone ones. Because that I could fix. Yeah, throw these away and get a new one. But the attachable one, I don't know what to do with that. But then again, so the episode is ending. I'm kind of glad because I think I need a break from all this. Alright, so this has been Miss Lover 91. Signing off. Bye!